Yeah, and charts are very useful in project scheduling. Today we'll be using Excel to build them. In a previous video, we provided a brief overview of project time management using Gantt charts. The link to that video can be found in the description below. Now we want to draw Gantt charts using Excel spreadsheets. We can easily use a stack bar charts to create 3D Gantts which look professional on any project report. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Let's first experiment with a small set of activities for which durations are specified. Select the two columns of data and from the insert menu and chart section choose a 3D stacked bar. Excel creates a chart for you which unfortunately has a couple of issues. All activities are started at the same date and relationships among them are not captured correctly. So let's get rid of this chart and follow three simple steps to plot a proper GAN chart. Step one is to calculate the start date of each activity based on the project network logic. In this example, we can assume a desirable start date for the first project activity. We have chosen 30th of April to kick off activity A. Since this activity has a duration of 1 and it's a predecessor for activity B, the start of activity B will be on 1st of May. The same condition applies to activity C. The next activity has two predecessors B and C. The start date for activity D will be the latest finish date for the two, which is 4th of May. Finally, activity E will be starting on 6th of May. This concludes the first step in creating our project Gantt chart in Excel. Step 2 is to create a 3D stacked bar chart in Excel. We should click on an empty cell and from the insert menu and chart section, choose 3D stacked bar. Now right click on the blank chart and from the menu choose select data. Then we can add our first series. For its name, a start date is selected and for the values, the five dates are chosen. After that, our second series is added. For its name, we choose duration and for the values, 5 activity durations. Our final task here is to edit access labels, which should appear as activity names. For the access label range, we choose our activities A to E. This concludes the second step in creating our project Gantt chart in Excel. Step 3 is to format the bar chart as a proper Gantt chart. First, we can align our 5 activities with our tabular data. Double click on the activity labels and from the format access menu, choose categories in reverse order. Next, we should get rid of the blue segments for each activity bar since only durations must be shown. For that, right click on a blue bar and from the format data series menu, choose no fill to hide the information related to start dates. After that, we can shift the bars to the left of our diagram by double clicking on dates and changing the minimum bound. Unfortunately, Excel uses a general format instead of the actual date. However, there is a workaround procedure that we can apply. Copy the start date of our first activity and paste it into an empty cell. Right click on that and from format cells choose general format. Now we can use this value as the minimum access bound. We have now formatted our Gantt chart properly, but from the quick layout menu you may want to enhance its appearance. Choose a good option like this one. I also like my Gantt chart to have a hash pattern instead of a solid fill. So I need to double click on a bar and under fill and line tab, pattern fill is chosen. You may want to remove the title since figures should have a standalone caption in a proper project report. And there you have it, a proper Gantt chart drawn using three simple steps in Microsoft Excel. Again, you can access the Excel workbook via the provided link in the video description. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.